Today we're going to be looking at putting uh, text that is uh, changed by variables into your Blender game. Uh, this is based on a tutorial uh, that I found online. Here's the tutorial the way I found it as I just did a Google search for uh, text Blender game and that brought up this page which linked me to that article written by uh, Andrew West. So, and I'm actually going to be uh, looking at this while I'm going over this tutorial because I've only done the text in the game a few times, but I think I can get through it pretty quickly here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, uh, spacebar and add a plane. And then I'm going to make this view here a uh, UV image editor. And uh, if we go back to the website for a second, you'll see that the way the text works in the game is we're just going to overlay this uh, this image file in onto this plane in in a way uh, that uh, this the blender knows to grab the correct letters from this image. So the first thing we need to do is download this image. In the future, we'll go over uh, how to create your own fonts, but we're just going to download this default Arial font. So you click that. It'll ask if you want to download it. It's a TGA file. Go ahead and save it. I've already downloaded it to my desktop. So now we just uh, we have that plane selected and we have our UV editor over here. In one of our 3D views, we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. And then we're just going to hit U and unwrap. And that unwraps uh, the image to or the plane to our image view here. Now we're going to go image, open, and we're going to go to wherever. Uh, you have that TGA file downloaded. I have it on my desktop here, and there it is. What we have to do now is we have to scale it down, uh, which I hit S, just like you do in a 3D view with all those points selected. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and then I hit G and grab it and move it up here. Then if you uh, center click, you can drag this around. And what we need to do is just get it so it fits nicely around this uh, at symbol here. So we're going to scale it up a little bit and move it and just get as close as you can. I'm a little bit off. I'm going to scale up just slightly. There we go. Uh, but at this point, the way we did it, uh, I'm just going to tell you now instead of showing you later, the text is going to be upside down. So we're just going to hit R for rotate. I'm going to hold down control and rotate it 180 degrees. And that way the, the text will be facing the right way. So at this point, we can hit tab to get out of edit mode. And what we need to do, actually, we need to be in edit mode. So we're going to hit tab again, but we're going to go to our editing window down here, which is F9. And over here, we have uh, texture faces. And what we want selected here is texture, so text here, text here, because it's going to be a text on the plane, and alpha, which will make the black transparent. So now that we have that selected, we can hit tab here. And if we go into a texture view here, you can see the at symbol on that uh, window right there, on that plane right there. So that's what it looks like up close. So if I, but right now, if I go into game mode, you won't see anything because we have to assign it some text. The, the at symbol's there just to let you know the text is there. Um, so what we're gonna do is with that plane selected, we'll go into our logic editor and we're gonna add a property. And we're gonna name it text with a capital T at the beginning. It is case sensitive and I will make it a string and I will type in a string here of hello world and you can see that font already shows up over there I can scale it down by hitting S and if we go into game mode you can see the words there perfect now uh, let's go into front view here by hitting one on your number pad and then shift zero to move the camera to that view I'm going to hit 3 to go into side view, and then hit R to rotate. We still have the plane selected. I'm going to hold down control and rotate it 90 degrees. So that way the text is facing the, uh, the, the camera here. We'll grab that and we'll move it right up to the camera here. At this point we can scale it down to whatever size we want. Grab it, I'll put it right up here. So like it's going to be a uh, information on our screen while we're playing a game. And once again, if I hit P, you'll see it in the game mode here. You see it looks black now. That's because right now it's uh, still shading because of our lighting. So I'm going to move that over here and hit P. And now you see it's white or whatever color your 
T, T, uh, TGA images. Um, there's got to be a way to make it so that it's shadeless. I'm not sure how to do that in game mode. I will do that in one of my next few tutorials, though, so you'll know. So, but we still have a static text, which we've done in the past with, with models, but we want to make it so it changes. So let's do this. I'm going to select that plane again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from a string to an integer. So it's set to zero now. And what I'll do is I'll go add, 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 and say add some logic bricks here and hook them together. This one is always, I'm going to set it up to five frames right here, so F5. So every five frames do this. And we're going to have to turn on this uh, active true level trigger or pulse mode. Um, and what we're going to do is, so every five frames we're going to do this. And what we're going to do is change this from motion to property. And we're going to change the text property. And what it will equal is text plus one. So every five frames that number will go up one number. So let's hit P and C. Oh, look at there it goes. And obviously if you want it to go slower or faster, you just uh, slower, you just up the number of frames. So now it's every 10 frames it will change. If we want it to go faster, we can put it down to one or even zero and look at it go real fast. Uh, and obviously you would link this, which I'll show you in the next tutorial, to a property of, of an object such as our jetpack in the previous tutorials we've been doing. Uh, someone asked in, in the previous comments uh, how to do this, and the next tutorial will be showing how to do what we're doing now, but link it to the jetpack percentage. But quickly, I want to do one or two more things here. I'm going to add a UV sphere so you can he see what's going on here a little bit better. I'm going to choose the camera, and I'm just going to add a few little logic things. Make this one here and this one here. And I'm just going to set it up so that I can move the camera around. Uh, I've This is one of the very first tutorials I did, so I'm not going into detail here. But I'll make that a right key. And uh, make this key left key. So basically, every time I hit the left key, the camera will move left. Every time I hit right, it will go right. Now you see the text is moving, it's not staying with the camera. What we need to do is move it so that, link them so that the text moves with the camera. So first thing, we're going to select the text, the plane that the text is on, and then shift click the camera. And then we hit control P, and it says, do you want to make it apparent? Just click on that to, to confirm it. And now, as I move the camera, you can see the font uh, is following. So that's how you add text uh, that you can manipulate in a game and how you link it to the camera. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Visit filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this. The link is in the description.